This decision has called to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Cameron Cooksey, has scored this foul 29 28 for Penny Mac. Your second judge, Chris Mackin, has scored this foul 29 28. Cannon. Your final judge, Mike Garber, has judged this bout 29 28. For your winner, by split decision, out of the red corner, Jackie Cuddleback, who just dominated the cage tonight, three rounds, got a split decision. How do you feel tonight? Amazing. <laughs> I think that was the most satisfying fight I've ever had. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, be, I mean, Shelby Cannon is a cannon, and she hits like one. What yeah. was it like being in the cage with Shelby? It was intense, man. I like, I just didn't, I didn't really know what to expect, but I didn't think, it, I, I thought she'd be easier to fight than that, man. <laughs> she was tough. She's I mean, good. You guys are both such tough females. And I'll tell you what, I guarantee that is probably going to get fight of the night. I'm pretty sure it, it's on the route to being fight of the night. So you are 4-1. and one. What is next? Uh, first of all, how do you feel being 4-1? and one? I don't even know. It's been, it's been eight years since I last won a fight. So this is just coming in in my hometown with everybody here to watch me and getting the win and just fighting my heart out. Like, I just wanted I wanted to prove to myself and everybody just how much of a savage I could be and... I feel like I did. <laughs> you absolutely did that and more. I mean, I'm sitting cage side and you were just pushing through every punch and it seemed like there was just no quit in you. Where do you find that depth of no quit? God, the people I train with. <laughs> they, just they never give me a chance to quit. <laughs> I train with some really, really tough guys, good wrestlers and good boxers. And my coach keeps me honest. He never lets me quit. Right. And, you know, fighting at such a light weight, you're 106. Are you going to fight at a higher weight class? Or are you going to stay in at 106? Boxing, I've fought at 119 and 112. And, and my first MMA fights were at 125 mm -hmm. before I, I worked my way down. So this is, this is where I'm good. This is where I have, I have length, I have reach, oh, yes. and power and strength. So this is, this is where I need to be. And how active are you going to stay this year? I want, like, three fights and then turning pro. Absolutely. So that's, that's my hope. Okay. Well, we can definitely see you doing that, and we hope that you can do it here with B2 Fighting Series. Awesome. Me too. How did you like fighting for us? I, your, your promotion is the most professional and just awesome promotion. But like, I know it's been a while since I fought, but like, how professional everyone was, how nice everyone was, the fact that there's a lot of people, like ex fighters and ex coaches, that are involved in it means yeah. that it's really fighter focused. Yeah. Sure. You care about us, you have the stuff we need. It, it means a lot. Uh. Well, I love to hear that, and I, I tell the folks at home all the time that, like, without you guys, we wouldn't have a show, so thank you so much for going out there and just putting in the hours. I get goosebumps, because you guys put so much time into this. I mean, how much time do does it take to get ready for a fight for you? Five nights I mean, a week, two hours, hours right? yeah, and yeah. then, like, months and months. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm just, yeah, I'm always in camp. Well, we cannot wait to see you turn pro and get that paycheck. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you.